Lecture 14. We have been learning the key concepts to build an image viewer. First, we learned how to get all the names inside a folder. That was part A, where we used the OS library. In part B, we took all the names inside the folder and sorted them out according to their type. Of course, we wanted the pictures, not the programs. By using the string library, we can read the names of the file and find out what's the GIF picture and what's not. Today, in part C, we're going to put them into a list. In the very first lecture, if you still remember, we made a list of our friends and put them into a list box. I didn't explain too much about it at the time, especially about the for loop. This is what we'll concentrate on today. How do we tell the computer to do something over and over and over again, basically? Let me start with a quick example. Here, we have a list I call lists, L-I-S, and inside the list, I have a bunch of people's names. Mikey, Jane, Linda, Missy, Che, Brittany, Alicia, Jack. So, if we want to print the entire list out, it's pretty easy. We just type print list. However, if we want to print out only the first five names, how will we go about doing that? Well, one way is to print them out one by one. You have access to the list element by putting in the index number, like such. You can print list 0, which you will print out Mikey. Print list 1, you'll print out Jane. Print list 2, you'll print out Linda. Print list 3, you'll print out Missy. Print list 4, you'll print out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You'll print out Che. So with this, we're going to print out the first five elements. Let me run this program so you can see what happens. Okay, so you see how these names are being printed out. This is all nice and well, but what if we want to print out like a thousand names instead of five? We might be typing for a while. So instead of doing it ourselves, we'll make the computer do it. This is what I would do. First, I will create a list from 1 to 5, like such. Count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we use this as a counter. So then I will write for x in count, print list x. Hmm. So what's really going on with these lines? Well, I'll tell you exactly what the computer is thinking. Are you sure? Uh, well, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. It first reads for x in count. What's count? It goes and looks for count and finds out that it's a list. So, since it's a list, it puts the first element from the list inside x. The first element is 0, so x now equals to 0. Next, we print out list x. Since x is equal to 0, we're printing out the first element which is, um, what is it? Uh, Mikey. So we're going to print out Mikey. And next, it goes and check if we have reached the end. It hasn't, so it goes to 1. So now x is equal to 1. So we are printing out list 1. And we will be printing out Jane. And after that, it goes to 2. And now we're printing list equals to 2. I mean list index of 2 and it will be printing out Linda so on and so forth until it finish it goes all the way to 4 and then it jumps back out in programming this is called a for loop for each item inside the list we are going to do something that's what it really means you will encounter this in every single programming language the grammar is different but the concept is always the same. It allows you to do something over and over again. At this point, if you're really sharp, you might be saying, wait a second. If I have to print out a thousand things, I will have to make a list with thousand elements ahead of time. That will take forever. And you're right. You would have to make a list with a thousand elements. But luckily, you only take one line of command to do that. To create a list of numbers, I will type, instead of count equals the list, I will write count equals the range 
zero five one. This command will create a list ranging from zero to five, with an increment of one. Let me quickly go to the interpreter and print out the documentation for this. So if I print range documentation, like I've said, from this you can tell that the first number is when it begins, and the second number is when it ends. The third number is the increment. So you will go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. With this, you can create a list of any size you want. Like right now, I can just create a list of a hundred for example range zero to a hundred with increments of one and this could be created instantly so if I go back to the program if I want to print out the first five names I will create a range from zero to five with an increment of one if I run this program now you will print out the first five names